Welcome back to Wendy's Kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be making beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff is traditionally a Russian recipe. It includes mushrooms and onions in a creamy sauce on a bed of rice or pasta. So let's get started. Right, I've got a little bit of oil heating in a pan and you should have about 500 grams of beef, preferably something that's quite tender, cut up into strips and we're going to put that into the pan to brown. Meanwhile, I have a saucepan with some salted boiling water where the pasta is going to go into. So, you choose any sort of pasta you like. I've chosen the spiral. Okay, so the meat is nicely browning now, so we're going to take it out and put it on a plate. And into that pan we're going to put some butter, which we're going to cook the mushrooms. We need to turn the heat down a bit because we don't want the butter to burn. There we are. In goes the butter. And into that we're going to put our mushrooms. Okay, now that the meat's out, I've melted a little bit of butter in our pan and put around about three cups of sliced mushrooms into that, along with one chopped onion. Okay, now it's time to add our beef back in. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. This will make the gravy thicken up. A good tablespoon, I'd say. You know, I have two tablespoons of tomato paste. Two tablespoons of paprika. Add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. and some beef stock. Probably about a cup or so of beef stock. I'm just going to sort of <coughs> judge how much we need as we go along. Maybe a little bit more, because we're going to reduce this down a wee bit, so. so that was one and a half cups of beef stock. And we're going to simmer that until the sauce is nice and thick and the meat is tender. 
I use schnitzel but as I said before you can use any type of tender beef that you like right our meat is cooked and the sauce is reasonably thick or as thick as we want it now it's time for the sour cream to go in. I might just put a little bit in it at a time just to see if we need it all. Okay, we're ready to dish it up. We've got our cooked pasta on the plate. Lovely gravy. More sauce. And to finish it off, a sprinkling of parsley. And there we go. Beef stroganoff. Well, thanks for watching my demonstration on beef stroganoff. If you want to see more recipes, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time then.